We all hate parking fines, but not many of us are prepared to fight them in court. Well, the doctor you're about to meet says enough is enough. Dinesh Palapana is an inspiration to many because of what he's had to overcome in his life. He's a quadriplegic who's an emergency doctor, Order of Australia medal recipient and former Queenslander of the year. But it's his work as a disability advocate he's most passionate about and a recent incident over a parking fine has left him bitterly disappointed. We could have done a bit more to be understanding of people with a disability. Dinesh is faced with challenges every day. I parked on a disability car park and someone assumed that I didn't have a disability and they let down my tyres. And now he's locked in a battle with a parking company over an $88 fine. An honest mistake that's now turned nasty. It's really about the principle and I just would have thought that a particular company called Care Park would have been a bit more caring. The 37-year-old, with the assistance of his carers, parked his car on what he thought was a council-owned street on the Gold Coast and, like always, made sure his disability parking permit was visible. In Queensland, any council-controlled area, when you park, uh, if it's a pay park, you can put your disability parking permit up and it's free. But when Dinesh returned to his vehicle, he was shocked to discover this, a fine stating there was no paid ticket on the dash or easy parking payment. There was a link on the ticket to log in and appeal the ticket. So I logged in and I said, these are the Queensland government rules and, the, um, and I guess the privileges that are afforded to people with a disability to park with council. So, you know, I just asked them to uh, please forgive the fine. The company that manages this street is Care Park, but despite the name, it's shown no compassion for Dinesh, telling him the fine won't be waived, even threatening legal action if he doesn't cough up. Despite Dinesh pleading his case in a series of emails, Care Park's general manager refused to back down, even saying this. If you had taken 10 seconds to look around, you would have been able to very easily cite numerous signs advising you of what you are required to do. So Dinesh, this is the sign in question. When you drive in, you, you are not going to be able to read that fine print even if you had the greatest eyesight. And uh, to wander around to it, it's, it's going to be difficult. Once you're past this sign, are there any signs within the street that tell you that it's not council owned? Not that I notice. And in fact, the signs like the 2P, it looks like a council sign. So it's a bit misleading, I think. Dinesh even contacted the Office of Fair Trade in Queensland for help, but it too was unable to assist in resolving the situation. Dinesh has decided to pay the fine to avoid it doubling after 14 days. And really, we could have collaborated and just said, oh, geez, this is, you know, we could make this clear. Why don't we put up some more signs or why don't we have some accessible base? You know, that, that would have been the nice solution to come out of this. But instead, here we are having an argument about it. Yeah, and Care Park might need to consider changing their name.